I already pulled some of the Oracle cards. Okay, you have Scythe, you have the Moon, then you have all these clocks. Um, so that's about time. And then you have the Sun. And then you even have a ring after the sun and an anchor. There is something that you are either cutting out of your life. And with the moon, this could be romance, emotions. This could be, we're going to find this out. I feel like and my ears are ringing too as well. The ace of swords. Wow. So there is something that you guys are about to do or something that you guys are about to say. You guys may be telling somebody um, that just maybe it isn't working out anymore with the time card. I just feel like you feel like you've waited a lot of, you know, a long time. There's so many clocks here. So I just feel like you guys feel like you've wasted a lot of time. And now it's like you guys are cutting out something, whether this is like the hope of somebody coming in or whether this is somebody that was taking advantage of you or somebody that was making you wait or somebody that was bringing a lot of confusion with the moon card or somebody that was not wanting to reveal their feelings or emotions like you know trying to like every time you try to dig deeper the person just keeps on filling the hole back and it's like they don't want to expose or like tell you too many things about themselves so i just feel like with the ace of swords you guys are being honest to yourself you're being truthful to yourself you guys are about to speak your truth you honestly know exactly what's right for you and i feel like you guys just feel like you've wasted a lot of time maybe not wasted a lot of time but it's taken a long time for you guys to kind of see things clearly now. And with the sun card and the ring, this tells me, and even the anchor over here, it just tells me that you guys are anchoring in on a more abundant future. And you guys are committed to having, um, first of all, being free, but also not settling for less. So you guys are sticking to your promises that you've made to yourself. With the moon, clarity, um, with the queen of swords. Okay, so I feel like whatever it is that this person didn't clear up for you, it's like you've cleared it up for yourself. It's like you're no longer looking through like rose tinted glasses or listening to what this person's telling you. It's like you're you're seeing things as they truly are. Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords, you're very clear. You see very, very clearly. You could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be. And I, this card did just kind of fall in reverse. So the two of cups in reverse is like you see clearly that you were not getting reciprocated. You were not getting back the love, the time, the effort, you know, um, that you were putting back into this connection or whatever this is, even if it was work. I just feel like you are cutting something. This could even be a dream of yours, something that you've worked on, something that you were so focused on. It's like it didn't really get anywhere. So you wasted a lot of time on it. Now you're going to free yourself and go towards a new commitment, something that seems a lot more locked in, a lot more stable. There is this dice card here, right? Look, and then the stairway where there's like two different ways you can go. It is a risk, okay? Um, but I feel like you guys have high hopes for your future. And there's a big ass mountain here to me. It's like you guys are willing to climb the mountain if that's what's needed to get yourself to where you need to be. What is the challenge you're having? The Six of Swords. Leaving. Getting this out of your head. This might be something that you are very focused on. This might be something that you think about all the time. You're having a hard time detaching from the past or letting this go. Even though you know that this is something that needs to go, it is hard for you guys to walk away. The Six of Cups in reverse. In the past, the recent past, this person didn't come back. They did not. There's a lot. You got the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups both in reverse. There's no reciprocation here. There's no love. Like this person, like I feel like you could tell that this person loved you. But it's like, I feel like you didn't get a lot out of it. Like you weren't, I don't know. It's like this person didn't show you enough. They didn't give you enough. They didn't come back or they didn't make the changes it's like they still are in this young-minded energy the page of swords as i say that which is like a child you see the signs okay you like i said you see clearly you're 100 percent sure of what it is that you guys need to do i just feel like the, the action of it is just the hard part the knight of swords i feel like you guys are in a rush what's coming in your future i'm going to clarify the sun wow the judgment card the four of wands the knight of pentacles okay so i feel like there's a you know sacrifices that you guys are making you've made a you did a lot of work on yourself and you guys are about to walk through a new door here with 11 11 this is like a really lucky time in your life and you're walking away from the things that no longer serve you so you are on the right path okay 
You guys could be walking your spiritual path at this moment. This could be a really important life lesson of yours. Part of your soul's journey to make this decision and move forward. The Six of Wands. With your head held high. Okay? This is about walking towards success and victory. And you have the Sun and the Four of Wands. And it's just to me, you guys... If you haven't walked away from this yet, I don't feel like you guys realize how good this could be. The Eight of Swords, yeah, she has that blindfold on. So it's like you guys are not allowing yourselves to see all the good things that could come out of this. You guys are instead telling yourselves that you may miss out on something good. But at the same time, I feel like you guys know deep down what it is that you need to do. It just hurts, right? The Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of time spent, like seven years. You got the sun again. So you got the sun here with this, um, the Lenormand deck. And then you have the sun here. So this could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with. This could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. I'm not seeing any other sign besides Leo. Okay, now Taurus. To me, I feel like you guys are sticking to, like I said, you have the commitment card twice. You got the sun and then the ring, right? The sun and the ring. Are you guys walking towards a new connection? A new relationship? The five of pentacles, you... Yeah, wow, that's good. The five of pentacles, the devil, the three of swords, the five of swords. You are walking away from people who are cold-hearted and going towards a happily ever after, basically. You know, you have the death card, Scorpio, Capricorn energy here. I just feel like you guys are walking away from um, things that just kept you so stuck. Like... You were not getting what you deserved where you were at. Like you literally, I feel like you guys felt like you guys were in like some type of toxic, controlling, could be abusive or it was emotional abuse. Okay. With the three of swords, the five of swords, the king of swords, even the queen and the page of swords. Like this person could have said things without even caring, like just speaking, like whatever comes in their mind and just saying hurtful things. The knight of swords too is a lot of anger. And this um, other person's energy that you guys are cutting out of your life. This is a toxic karmic. This could also be, it doesn't have to be a lover. This could be your boss. This could be your child. This could be whoever this is. Your family members, your friends. You know, king of swords could be your boss though. Could be a very toxic controlling boss or um, lover of yours that felt like they had all the power over you. But with these two cards and then these two cards coming together, it's like you're freeing yourself and you're walking towards commitment. You also may be getting engaged quickly or something like this. I'm going to clarify. What is this ring? The Knight of Cups. This is something that you're being guided towards. This is like heaven sent, something that's better. The nine of pentacles. This could be a new job opportunity. The queen of wands, you taking your power back. And the fool, a new beginning. You guys are headed towards a new beginning. The queen of pentacles, you've been nurturing yourself. You've been doing a lot of good things. And the ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Long-term stability, long-term money, success, um, healthy, reliable relationships. Um, I just feel like you guys are being guided towards getting all your power back. In the past, I do feel like you guys were taken advantage of. <clears throat> this person could have blocked you from seeing all the good that you could have had in your life. Because all you were focusing on was this person. I feel like you were just focusing on all the good things about this person. You were, you may have been ignoring all the toxic patterns because of the love that you had for this person. Until you started realizing that you became empty dealing with this person now you guys are headed in a complete new path and you guys are headed towards success and commitment and if you've met somebody now somebody new this could be somebody that has potential for um long term i mean this could end up being marriage um i do feel like you guys are going to take this leap of faith here and get your power back and then it's like you run into something right away like you leave one thing and you go towards something else straight after. And this thing is something that sticks around. Okay. With the death card that I seen earlier, it's like you've learned everything that you needed to learn. And with the three of cups, I feel like you guys have found your happiness within. It's like you are no longer, you know, not, I feel like you guys just love yourself. And maybe in the past, you could have tried to change yourself so much for this person to make them like you, to make them love you, to make them, you know, just 
try to do better. You've given this person lots of chances. The Eight of Cups, you could have walked away plenty of times, but you didn't. But now this time is for real. Now you're finally cutting this out of your life. You're taking your power back. You see things completely different, you know? And I just feel like nothing that this person does can get you back. Like you're on a whole new path, the Two of Wands. Like you've already made, you've been planning this for a while. You've been preparing for this. Look, you've been preparing to move forward. I don't feel like you just made up this decision yesterday. I feel like you've made up this decision for a while. And it's just hard for you guys to get there with the Six of Swords. Don't let this person get in your mind and keep you stuck. Don't let this person know that you're leaving either. Because with the Devil and the King of Swords, and the, it's like this person tries to reel you back in. They know that you love them. They know that they're important to you. But I just feel like this person didn't do right by you. And you guys are cutting this out of your life. And you're putting yourself first. All right. So I am going to get a message from the universe or from your higher self. But I got to find my deck. Okay. Let's get a message from the universe first. And then we'll get a message from your higher self. You have round and round and orphaned. This person is constantly, there's a pattern of this person never really caring how you felt. You could literally be an orphan, like maybe your parents have like sat, sorry to say this if, if this has happened, big hooks to you guys, but maybe some of your parents have passed on or have left and you felt abandoned and it's like all you wanted was this person to love you and to show you, you know, that you're important and I just feel like this person just, you know, they... It's just like they had this pattern over and over and over. This person could have had an addiction or something, you know, and you have here and now. I just feel like now you guys are done with this pattern. You're stopping this, okay? And I'm going to take this, even though I didn't shuffle my deck. It says, hero, you're on a hero's journey, and the hero of the journey is you. Be brave, patient, and make calculated moves. Be discerning about others around you. You cannot go to war with somebody else if you don't give them one. Don't let anybody bait you to get you to fight. Rise above the storm. Don't give in to anger. Show wisdom. Okay? You could have been the hero for this person. You have fury. This person's going to be so mad when you walk away from them. They're going to say everything and anything that they can because this person, it's like they know that you have abandonment issues and they know that you don't want, that you don't like when you're very close to people and then they leave. Right? And this person knows that. And so it's like that's how they kind of like reel you in. They try to act like they're so understanding, I just heard. You have resistance. The energy of resistance is present. Careful, Carefully assess the situation. This is the omen to signify that you or somebody else is resisting change or an offer for something different from stubbornness. Displaying resistance is a way of saying no to something for not being ready or in agreement to, what being, to what's being proposed. Okay, if this person is resistant to change, you know, then it's really important for you to do what you need to do. You have to put yourself first above this person because this person right now feels like they have all the power in the world over you. You have confusion. Confusion comes when somebody is or something in, is inauthentic. Follow only the path that you know is right for you. Confusion comes when the heart is in conflict with the head. Pause if you can't decide. Ask for clarity. Take time to make the right decision. Go within. Remove low vibe influences around you. And don't listen to fear or pessimism. Okay? I just feel like this person causes... Every time you try to walk away from this person, this person will reel you back in. And it's really... This time, you guys are going to take your power back. And you're not fucking around. You will walk away from this person. And you will leave this person. And you will be better. And you will be okay. It is going to take a lot of courage for you to do this. There's a lot of sacrifices that are going to be made. I feel like you guys with the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, you could be saving up money. Or maybe you have an, a business idea in mind. Or maybe you've already started something, something that you've already planted to seed. I also see that that's growing as well. And I feel like that's also going to be something that helps you for the future, you know, to continue on gaining more success, more money. I just feel like you guys have been stuck for so long. And now, finally, when you take your power back, like so many doors are going to open up. Especially when it comes down to love. I feel like you guys may walk away from this person and then it's like you find your person. You know? You know, the person that you stick with. Or you leave this person, you had no money, you weren't able to work, you weren't able to see everybody. Now you get to see everybody and now you are... You know, your bank is looking good. Every time you see your bank, you're smiling. You know, I just feel like you guys are going to go through a massive shift, a massive change in all the positive ways because this person has kept you stuck for so long. I just feel like 
like I was saying at the beginning with this mountain card. Like, you will climb the mountain if you need to, to get away from this person. And I see you guys really being proud of yourself after all the hard work that you've done. This person causes too much confusion. This person, I feel like, is a liar. And I feel like this person is bad-mouthing you. It's like this person, because you have this enigma, and then you have the king of water. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then you have this graduation card. I'll get to that in a minute. I just feel like this person, like, where was I getting with that? <laughs> okay, I just feel like this person causes a lot of confusion for you, okay? It's like they try to, like, make you think things that are not true. Make other people think things that are not true. Like, this person may, that's what I was going to, this person may make you look out to be the bad one to everybody else. And they look so, like... You know, they making themselves look out to be the bad one. Okay. And then you have graduation. Congratulations. You have graduated from a really difficult life, life lesson. You can breathe a sigh of relief for overcoming your situation. This can also be an omen to confirm certification for completing a program, educational course, or a personal goal. This marks the end of a cycle. You have made it to completion. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely a completion. And it's like now this door is open for you guys for abundance to kind of flow in. And abundance could be anything. That could be more money, more time, more love, more you know, healthier friendships, just, you know, I just feel like you guys are going to get a lot of good things coming in for you after like this whole time of like darkness, like look on all this side, I don't even think you guys could see, but on all of this side is all the swords, all the hurtful cards, and then you got on this side is all yellow, you know, and blue, so to me, in the future, there's a lot more like gold, you know, clarity, brightness, warmth, you know, um, and then over here, it's just like everything looks so like crazy. So just know that you're going from one part of your life that was very, very difficult to something that feels like so much easier. Okay. I just feel like you guys, you guys are going to be very proud of yourself. I do feel like it's going to be hard to walk away from this person. But when you finally do it, it's going to feel so good. Okay. You're going to be able to breathe. All right. So I hope this helps. As a matter of fact, I am going to pull one of these cards from my deck. Because this was the original deck that I was looking for. And I couldn't find it. And it's in my face. Okay. Let's just get a message from here. One last thing. You are enough. There's nothing to be fixed. Your authentic self is complete and whole. Don't ever doubt who you are. I just feel like you see how she has like her hands on her side and she's like feeling herself. I just feel like now you guys are at a time where like maybe you didn't feel enough. You tried to change yourself for this person. You could have felt like you've lost the person that you used to be. But now you are so much more mature and wise and strong and resilient and like nothing can break you. This person literally, I feel like taught you your power, you know, made you realize how strong you are. And now this person's like, you're unrecognizable to this person. You have the meeting of the souls. Do you see what I'm saying? You have a soulmate that's coming in for you right after you walk away from this person. And then you have higher view and awakening. I was picking up on that earlier. It says, be aware of what you're doing. If what you're doing fits the big picture and ask yourself what new actions you can take to elevate higher. I feel like you guys are already on that path. And then you have, you're getting to know who you truly are on a soul level. Take things slow as you begin to shift the way that you interact with the world around you. Because I feel like the world is going to be brand new to you because you guys went from dealing with this person for so long, five, seven years, something like that, being stuck and controlled and feeling like you couldn't use your voice. And now the first card that came out with the Ace of Swords is like you are speaking your truth now. You're not afraid to speak your truth, you know? Um, and you see very clearly. So I just feel like you guys... You know, could have blocked out all of this toxic shit because you didn't want to see it. The love that you have for this person was much stronger than all the shit that they've done for you, done to you. Until you reached the point of self-love. And now you see things completely different. It's like you took a step back from this person. And you really got a chance to get to know your new self. And I just feel like, you know, this person's very, it looks like they're very upset with you for making these changes because they no longer have any power over you. Okay, so anyway, I hope this helps and I hope you guys have a great day and 
Take care. Toodles.